Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. For the last five episodes or so I have been cooking Swedish classic food. And this will probably be my last episode where I cook food from the classic Swedish cuisine. So what could be a better way to end the Swedish food series? By doing one of the oldest recipes that at least I am aware about. I talk about the Swedish pea soup. So. Today I will do that. It's a recipe that's probably 800 years old or even more and I hope you will enjoy this. Please try this yourself. Try to cook this at home and I hope you will enjoy this. Let's start cooking. This recipe will take two days to make and the reason for that is the peas. They have to sit in water for at least 24 hours. After 12 hours change the water. Same day we're doing our stock, and in my recipe I use this one, a pork knuckle. Add it to a pot, a large one, and cover it with water. Then set it to medium heat, and as soon as you see foam appear on the surface, skim it off with a skimmer as much as you can. Continue to boil for maybe 10 to 20 minutes and remove as much foam as you can. Dump your meat into a clean sink and make sure that you splash half your kitchen. Rinse it with water and uh, put it back in the pot. Fill it up with new cold water. And now it's time to add all our aromatics. Remember that the exact amount is in the description, but we start with clove, allspice and white pepper. Then carrot, onion, celery and thyme, very similar to a sofrito. Bring it to a boil and take this opportunity to feel the scent of Sweden. Let it boil for 1 hour and 15 minutes and let it reduce, something like this. And after that it's time to put on a lid and boil for one more hour until it's looked like this. Take out your meat and put it in a baking dish. Then strain your stock into a smaller pot. Now let the meat and the stock rest in the refrigerator overnight. So after the 24 hour sleep for your peas, they will look a bit larger because they absorb some of the water. They will still be hard, that's not a problem. Just rinse them under clean water. And yes, in Sweden, the tap water is clean. Dump them into a bowl. Now over to our stock. As you can see, it has a coating, a white coating on top. Remove that with a spoon. As you can clearly see, this stock now has a jelly texture. And that because it has cooled down in the refrigerator. But that's supposed to be like that. So put it back in the pot on medium heat. And as you can see, it will melt and return to its former glory. Then dump all your peas into the stock and fill the pot up with water. The total amount of water and stock should be around 2 liters together. Put on a lid and boil for 2 hours. If the soup gets too dry during those 2 hours, you can add some extra water. After 2 hours you will see that the most pea skins has risen to the surface, so remove them with a the skimmer. And while your soup is still boiling, it's time to prepare our meat. So remove the meat from the bones and cut it into smaller pieces. Now dump that meat back into the soup 
and let it boil for another hour, or until you feel that the texture of both the meat and the peas are almost perfect. Then it's time to add our spices. We keep it very traditional here. We're adding salt, of course, thyme and marjoram. Put the lid back on and let it simmer for 10 to 15 minutes before you add the mustard. Give it a quick stir to everything combined and now it's time to serve. Okay, so let's try this. This is the Swedish yellow pea soup. Wow. This brings back so many memories from my childhood. And today, most Swedes, they eat this, but they buy it in a can from the shop. To do it home is so much better so please cook this try this it's extremely tasty mm. cheers <laughs> 